Hello, 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 and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. This is your daily tea and tarot for Thursday, March the 4th, 2021. Today's energy is Jupiter. Remember, I always tell y'all, it's about abundance, it's about prosperity, it's about being grateful, it's about being thankful. Make sure you are expressing that, not just today, but every day. Make sure you show the universe your gratitude for what you already have. Don't expect to be blessed or to continue to be blessed when you're not thankful and grateful for what you already have. And that doesn't just mean money. That also includes health. That also includes family. That also includes love. You know what I'm saying? So I am grateful, I am thankful, and I am blessed. Nonetheless, we're going to get started because I'm going to have problems with my storage and I got to update some information with Apple and it's taking longer than I like. Yada, yada, yada. I ain't even going to go to that because it's already like 11 o'clock and I have not gotten the work done that I wanted to get done thus far. So I'm already a little flustered about that. But I mean, I'm not, but you know, I am, but I'm not. Observer, somebody is trying to figure something out. Spirit, what's the energy and atmosphere for today? Fall. Dark night of the soul, separation, offer, and communication. Someone may want to communicate. Someone may want to communicate. Bottom of the deck, energy, third party, patience, vibrations, balancing the scales, tribe, and shadow work. Got that soulmate card over there, too. I see you, soulmate. Um, someone's been in a really dark place. I feel like... Something about the fall, whether it was the last time you saw each other, the last time you spoke to each other, um, it could be numerous things, but I kind of feel like, or it could be the next time you speak to them. I know we're headed into spring, so that's a long ways from now, but it's whatever, you know, it just take it as it resonates. Um, I do feel like someone is in a dark place or is it someone has been in a dark place possibly since the last time you've seen them. You've been in separation. I do feel like there's an offer, though, that's coming towards you, but they may be afraid to communicate it. They don't think that they'll be able to reach you. They don't know if if they're going to say the right words. Definitely third party, something in the way of this connection. I feel like at the same time, someone's been really patient or they're trying to be patient, raise their vibrations, balance things out, spending time reflecting and putting in some shadow work. Definitely feeling that vibe. Let's see what we have here with the Twin Flame Journey Tail deck. Okay, Spirit. Please clarify fall energy. What is that fall energy? Okay, so I feel like someone with the fall energy... It seems as though it's time to reap the benefits from this connection. New beginnings, wise investment, moving forward. Two people will definitely be moving in towards some success. Someone will finally be getting the recognition they deserve in a connection. Spirit, please clarify, dark night of the soul. The magician and the two of wands could be a Aries, very possible with the magician and the two of wands. Nonetheless, I feel like this individual who's been in this dark place is finally making plans to move forward. I kind of feel like they're, they realize they put themselves in this dark place. Like they're, they're like, okay, if I want something different, I have to change the dynamics. So they're making those plans, making those decisions to move forward. So yeah, please clarify the separation energy. Old wounds. Mm. And the king of cups. Five of Cups. I'm um, yeah, Five of Cups and King of Cups. This could very well have a lot to do with a water sign. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They could be separated from you. You could be separated from them if you're a water sign. It could be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It doesn't matter. Nonetheless, with the Five of Cups energy, someone is walking away, or someone has walked away from a situation, or they're separated from someone, and they're they're. I feel like they're just getting to. They're just getting into. Mastering their emotions. Because for a long time, they they didn't see this in a good way. They were very emotional about it. You know, saw only the negative aspect of the separation, not the positive. Like, with the positive, you were you should have been growing through the separation. So, please clarify this offer energy. What is this offer energy? Mm, nine of Wands energy. 
digging themselves out the mud. It's time. Somebody has dug themselves out for the last time. Like they got an offer for you. Like I, I've dug myself out of this dirt. I've I fought the like I fought this fight. I'm I'm not going back no more. Like I I'm out of there. I'm out of this dark place. It's time. It's time to cleanse. I have an offer for you. This is this is the right time. Universal alignment. Aquarius energy. Spirit, please clarify the communication. Knight of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody about to call somebody. They got something to say. They ready to make it right with the Six of Pentacles. They're ready to give you back what you gave them. They're ready to give you back what you gave them. King of Wands. Three, four, five, six. Lover's card. Twin Flame Connection. Okay. King of Wands. Visionary Leader. It's the Tower card. Divine Intervention. Something has interfered. Queen of Cups. Again, Water Energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. High Priestess. Ten of Cups. Contentment. Someone's excited. They have a vision of moving forward. Something that fell apart, though, on the other end of, of the spectrum. That's that divine intervention. It was, even though it fell apart and it seems like it was horrible, it was divine intervention. It was supposed to happen. Definitely. I feel like someone spent a lot of time loving on themselves. I feel like they found themselves with the high priestess energy, like they realize who they are. And now someone wants long-term commitment with the Ten of Cups. They're very excited. Good news with the Page of um, Wands. They got good news. Like, I'm ready to come forward. I have plans for us. All right, Spirit, let's get some messages. Y'all need some messages. Spirit, messages about this connection, please. Messages. I'm reminded of you daily. I'm reminded of you constantly. That makes sense. Even though you're in separation, I feel safer in silence. They haven't said much in a long time because they're afraid to open up. They're afraid to communicate. But I feel like they're getting there. Like they're ready. I, I'm more affected than you know. I feel like even though they walked away and it seemed like they weren't bothered at all and you were, that's not the case. They're very much affected. They just hide their emotions better than you. We will be together again. Yep. I'm telling you. They're, they're like, I fought this fight. I'm ready. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down. And that's not always easy to deal with. These cards need to definitely get switched. Because this goes with that dark night of the energy. The dark night of the soul energy. Seeing you makes them remember that they fucked up. It makes them remember what work they need to put into themselves. It still like puts them in that place. I forgot to light my candle. I forgot to light my candle, y'all. Mm. And it smells so good. Ugh. Come on. There you go. I barely light it because I don't like the smoke getting inside of it. I know y'all going to talk about me. Touching and playing with fire. <clears throat> yeah, I'm that kind of girl. Anyway, I feel like they are... Seeing you reminds them that they need to put work into themselves. Seeing you reminds them that they, you know, have more healing to do. That dark night of the soul energy. Our connection still affects me very much so. They're not who they want to be without you. They are who they want to be, but it's not the same without you. Like, I feel like you have something to do with their healing. You have something to do with their growth, and they know that, you know? All right, spirit. Messages. What we got? What we got? You're the only person who truly gets me. I'm telling you. It's like you know everything. You know the good, the bad, the ugly, the really bad, the really ugly, the gross-some, the really good. Like, you know it. You know this. I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. They've never felt, they've, they haven't been able to be this open with somebody else in a really long time. So your bond, it's different. You're all I ever wanted. Once they met you, that was it. <laughs> that was it. You've all, the, you literally, I feel like no one else compares to you. That's how I feel. Cause you're all they've ever wanted. Like you're their dream come true. You've affected my life significantly. Told you because of you, they actually started to recognize how fucked up they were. Like you, you took them down a notch. Like this is that twin flame energy that I'm talking about. Like you were probably in a dark place and they were too above themselves. So they had to bring you up and you had to knock them down a little bit. Like no bruh, no sis, that ain't how it worked. One more card. I'm telling you, it's beautiful balance here. I, I was reminded of your scent recently. I'm telling you, every time I see that card, first of all, because I am all into scents and smelling good. So I always, you know, feel like when a, a, a woman should always carry a beautiful scent with her. So just know that he recognizes that you have that about you. And he smelled or she smelled your scent recently. I'm, you know, I'm a woman. It's always going to resonate with me in a feminine way. 
All right, let's see what the unspoken messages are today. Y'all, I can't make this shit up. This card comes out like every day. Truly, madly, deeply. More unspoken messages, spirit. I know you're my twin flame. boo yow. I text Denny Race. They want to reach out. I told you they're scared. They don't know exactly how to say it. I wish they would just text you already. They act like they're busy. They're not really busy. I feel like, you know, that, that would be their, their response if they last spoke to you. Like, I'm busy. No, you're not, liar. Stop pretending and just be real. Passion is strong. They want you. That passion is picking up extremely, like, vibrant. Um, this love is crazy. It's crazy for them. It's something they haven't felt in a really long time. Maybe like last time they felt that they were a teenager. You know what I'm saying? And they're truly madly deeply in love with you. They know that you're their twin flame. They text you, then they raise. They act like they're busy and they're not. But the passion is strong. Your connection affects them. I mean, there is definitely a third party situation here, though. Something is blocking it from getting to you. So that's it for today's reading. <laughs> Daily Tea and Tarot for Thursday, March the 4th, 2021. If this reading has resonated with you, please be so kind as to drop a comment down below for me. Don't forget to subscribe, ring both notifications, and hit that like button. If you're looking for a private, personal, more in-depth reading, you can always reach out to me on my website, www.alchemygoddess.love. That's A-L-K-E-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S dot L-O-V-E and schedule an appointment. I do charge for readings. I have to say this because some people just keep asking me, are they free? No, they're not. But for the month of March, you can get 30% off of all energy readings if you use the code Lucky Charm. L-U-C-K-Y-C-H-A-R-M. No spaces in between. All right, you guys. That's it for today's reading. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace.